exhale it out. Whatever doesn't serve you in this moment, let it leave your body. Ground through the soles of your feet, spread your toes. Squeeze your legs, so lift up those kneecaps. Pull the stomach in, lengthen and lift up through the chest as you pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Let the arms flow by your side when you're ready. Slowly open those eyes, inhale the arms will rise as you lengthen and lift, reaching all the way up, create your space, reach, reach, reach. And then as you exhale, arms behind your back, interlace those fingers. Pull the arms down, lift your heart and gaze as you lengthen, open up. And then as you exhale, hinge at the waist, Forward fold, pull the arms up high. Oh my goodness. Hamstrings, how does that feel, Brian? Good? All right, we're gonna do some handstanding today. Whatever works for you, okay, I'll give you options. Pull the arms up, start to bend and extend those legs. Bend and extend, bend and extend. That's right, bend and extend. Pull the arms up. Release the arms as the arms flow down. Oh yeah, inhale, lift up, nice flat back, create that space. And then as you exhale, just step it back down dog. Yes, we always start slow, start to pedal it out. Bend, extend, sway those hips, move your body how you like to move. All right, here we go. Take your first vinyasa of choice, it can be anything you want. I'm gonna roll through my spine, I'm gonna slowly lower halfway, keeping the elbows into the ribs, pull the shoulders back. Inhale, lift it up, cobra or up dog. Push those feet into the floor as you peel the thighs off the mat. Try to pull the shoulders back as you gently gaze up. Oh yeah, add the extra chaturanga, that's right. Right here, push it back, down dog, right at the beginning. Gaze at your hands, walk, step, float, whatever you wanna do, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt to your thighs. There's number two forward folds, Brian. Walk the feet out, walk the feet out, about hip distance apart. You can just hang if you want to. You can grab big toes if you're feeling super flexible and you can plant your palms on the mat with ease. Lift your feet up, place your hands underneath feet, toes at the crease of the wrist. Inhale, lengthen and lift, nice flat back. As you exhale, use your arms, so you're pulling your upper body to the thighs. As you bend the elbows out, you're allowing yourself to come to those legs. That's right. Shoulders pull down away from the ears and then shift the weight forward so your hips are lifting to the sky. This should feel really good. Try to keep your legs active if you can. Knees bending is okay as well. Don't let me scare you when I say we're gonna die. I don't know if it's just me, but I think these classes are getting harder and harder as the weeks go on, I'm not gonna lie. Inhale, lift up, nice flat back. As you exhale, you release your hands from the toes or the feet. Toes and heels will come back in. Bend the knees, slowly roll up your spine, one vertebra at a time. Maybe it's just after Cinco de Mayo and the 45 margaritas we've had, right? Pull the shoulders down, away from the ears. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Reach up, reach up. Shoulders down, away from the ears, lengthen and lift. As you exhale, come back to center, hands to heart. Here we go, you guys, let's start here. We're gonna go tree pose. So you can stay at the front of your mat. I'm just turning so you guys can see me. Lift the right leg up and externally rotate this right hip so you're opening it up first, giving yourself a moment, bringing it back, opening it back up. One more time, bring it, bring it, bring it. Take that foot, place it in the inner left thigh. Draw that left knee back, squeeze the standing leg. Go for it, pull the stomach in. With the inhale, reach your arms up. If you want to take standing half lotus, go for it. Exhale, spread your branches. Open up the arms. Pull the shoulders down your back. Activate your lats. Yes, right where that back fat is. No one likes back fat. Well, I don't. That's for sure. My back fat's hanging out. My sports bra does not look good. Inhale, you rise. If anyone likes it, you can DM me and let me know. Palms will come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, right leg comes forward, extend the right leg. Strong, strong. Lift it, lift it. Pull the right hip into the socket so you can lift that leg. Lift it, lift it. You guys looking at my fried tan legs? I wore my neon clothes for you. As you exhale, bend the right knee, send the right leg back so you're in warrior three. Yes, you can micro bend this left knee. Pull the right hip down, flex the foot, pull the stomach in. Hands to heart, you can even bring the arms to the back. You can bring them forward as well. Watch those shoulders. Micro bend the knee if you have to. 
just a nice little warm up. Get the fire going, you guys. Get that warmth. As you exhale, hands come down to the ground. Lift that right leg up. Hoo hoo. Yes, a little standing split. Holler. You can bring fingertips, ground your palms, blocks if you want to. Bend the knee. Just keep lifting. We're just stretching out here. And then when you're ready, you can jump it, step it, float it back, whatever works for you. Handstanders, hands stand it up. Cheryl Van Lowen, pop it up, girl, pop it up. Lift up through the chest, shoulders back. Gosh, that feels good. Add the extra chaturanga push up. That's it. Send it back, down dog. Nothing too crazy yet. Let's get some more warm throw going. Gaze at your hands, jump or step, lift up halfway. Create that space. Exhale, jump or step it. Let's go for it. Chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, extend arms. Exhale, down dog. So we're not going to up dog, okay? You're just pushing it back up. Inhale, gaze at your hands. Jump or step. Lift, flat back. Jump or step, chaturanga. Back, what? Up. Now, add the extra push up. Then back, here we go. Let's go for it, you guys. This is how we roll. Gaze at your hands, jump or step. Lift up halfway, melt the thighs. Grab your ankles, pull your upper body to those legs. Nice deep forward fold here. You can bring forearms to the back of your calves. You can grab ankles. You just breathe, breathe. Stretching out, stretching out. Bend those knees, chair pose, Utkatasana. That's right, why not? Pull the stomach in, knees behind the toes. That's right, tuck the tailbone under, pull it in. If it hurts the shoulders, hands the harder waist, okay? Feel it, feel it, feel it. Own it, own it, own it. Now when you're ready, arms come down and back, airplane arms. That's it, pull those pinky fingers behind your back to touch. Do you feel the triceps about to rip through the skin? No, then you're not doing it hard enough. Lift them up higher, pull it back. Now do you feel it? Then you're doing it correctly. Yes, burn it out all the way to the heels. Pull the stomach in, feel it, feel it, lift it. Inhale, reach it. Exhale, come back to center. I'm falling over, hands to heart. Woo! Inhale, lift that left knee up. Open it up first. Hips might start to pop. You guys might feel a little tight. Do this a few times. Inhale forward, exhale. Give it about three times, really opening through the hip, then taking it to your tree, Rikshasana. You can take your standing half lotus if you want to. Feel good. There, that's better. Now when you're ready, inhale, the arms will rise. Lengthen and lift. Exhale, spread your branches. Go for it. Shoulders down your back. Really elevate and lift. You can take it. You can bind it behind you if you want to. Opening up the shoulders a little bit more. Really taking any variation that you need in this time. Some people hold stress, stress in their shoulders and their hips. So inhale, the arms will open. Rise, exhale, palms together, hands to heart. Now this is where we get that quad burn. Inhale, left knee forward. Exhale, extend it. Pull that hip into the socket, that's right. Keep lifting, keep lifting it, keep lifting it. Can you guys see up my shorts? Extra Venmo dollar if you can, okay? Strong, strong, strong. Oh man, this is beautiful. Bend that left knee with the inhale, exhale, send it right back. You can go hands to waist. Now pull, pull it down, pull it down, that left hip. That's right, pull it, flex that left foot, send the heel to the back wall. So you're reaching through the heel, reaching through the crown of your head. You can micro bend the right knee if you need to. That's right, use everything that you have. Your back is your core as well. Now when you're ready, standing split. Exhale, the palms will come down underneath you. Find balance. Oh man, point or flex the foot. Use those hands to pull your upper body to that thigh and keep lifting the leg as high as you can. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This should feel really, really good. My goodness, hamstrings, baby, hamstrings. Then if you want to take it up, handstand, go for it, float it back, jump it back wherever you are. Give yourself a little spruce or ruski. Inhale, you lift it. 
I don't know what a spruce or rooski is. I just said it. You kind of, you know, start saying things and laughing at your own jokes. Add the extra chaturanga. Push it back down dog. Now from here, you guys are feeling really good. I know you are. Drop those forearms to the floor at the same time. This is called dolphin pose, aka manatee, if you know me. That's right, feeling good. Option to stay here. You can even lift the right leg up and scorpion sting it in your dolphin. If you want to take it up to some forearm stand, take it. Go for it. You want to give yourself a few little hops? Give yourself a few little hops. Inhale it up when you're ready. You can do it, you guys. Feel it. Some days are a little bit heavier where you're not feeling it. I'm sure we're, we're there, right? And some days you can do it. When you're ready, exhaling, you come down. Give yourself a moment. Drop those knees. Walk the arms out. Little puppy pose. Little puppy baby. So your arms extend out. Hips over the knees. Chin or forehead to the floor, whatever feels better on your shoulders. Now when you're ready, let's go for it. We're not messing around. Onto the forearms, onto the forearms, send the legs to the back wall. Push the heels back, stomach in. Strong, 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 you got this. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Then when you're ready, right palm into the mat, extend. Left palm into the mat, you're in plank. Inhale, shift forward. Chaturanga to up dog. Add the extra chaturanga as you send it back. Downward facing dog. That's correct. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, scorpion sing. Open up the right hip. Option to stay here or you can take your wild thing. Modify, drop your left knee to the ground. Right foot behind the left foot. You can sink through the hips, you can stay. Inhale, push through the right foot, lift the chest, reach the arm back. Holler. Inhale it up, exhale to the floor. Turn the left toes into the mat, lift the right leg high back to your three-legged down dog. Take it across your body. You can take a modified side plank if you want to, or fall in triangle. Right ankle comes out, spin the left heel down, inhale, left arm up, open up the chest. All right, let's move. Left palm to the floor, left toes into the mat, right knee to chest, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale it up. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale it up. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. You can tap it for five, flying split if you want to. One-legged crow if it's there. For five, four, three, two, one. Let's go for it. Inhale, lift, right leg up. Right foot in between hands. Take it up to your warrior one stance. Inhale, arms will rise, hands to heart or even waist, palms together, what works for you? Pull the left hip forward, bend the knee toward the toe. Stomach in, reach, 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 breathe, draw heels toward each other. Find peace within, and then as you exhale, take your humble warrior, interlace. Pull the arms down, lift your heart and gaze as you lengthen, and then exhale, lead with your heart. Bring that upper body inside the right thigh. You keep reaching. Crown of the head will soon, leave, soon enough touch the floor as you pull your arms up high to the sky. Oh yeah, that feels good on that hamstring. You got it. And then when you're ready, let's go. Release your hands. Walk it over to the left. Turn the right toes in for wide leg forward fold. Inhale as you create space. Exhale, melt. So here you can grab big toes with your peace fingers. You can anchor fingers under soles. And you can push the ground away with your hands. Just all you need to know is that if your head is touching the ground, maybe shorten your stance a little bit. Squeeze your quads, pull your stomach in, and think about lifting your tailbone to the sky. And as you do this, take it up if you want to take it up to headstand. You guys know. Take it up to press if you want to press it up into anything that you want to. Go for it. Maybe, Brian, you want to stay here, hamstring stretch. Little headstand, maybe do a different headstand if you want to, tripod, go for it. Maybe swing it around, feeling 
sounds good. A little bit of eagle. Maybe not. And when you're ready, let's move. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Ooh, ooh, bring it down. Ooh, that felt good. Bend that right knee, walk it out. Walk it to the front, turn the right toes forward, left toes into the mat. When you're ready, step the left foot up to meet the right foot. Lift up halfway, create space. Exhale, melt to your thighs. Nice forward fold, you can grab ankles and really pull, pull, pull. Nice job, you guys. Bend those knees, Utkatasana, let's rise. Lengthen and lift, shoulders down your back. Then when you're ready, let's take some side crow. Take some side crow. So here, if you don't want to do the side crow, you can just add a nice little twist here. So I'm going to show you here. Twist, twist, twist. Try to keep both knees equally aligned. And as you twist, you can hold it here or take a little side crow. Take any kind of crow that you want to. So here, bend the elbows, elbow on the outside of the thigh. Right arm can hang out or you can bring it to the hip. And you can just lift and stay here. You can extend the legs if you want to, right? You can even go extended side crow here. And then when you're ready, exhaling it down. Really any variation that you want. So here you are, you're down, bring it back, here we are. Inhale, lengthen, you come up. Here, center, exhale, take your twist, opposite way. Take your twist, opposite way. You wanna take your side crow, go for it. Take your variation that you want, feel good. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, extend it. Feel good, extend it. Bring it back. Exhale here. Feel good. Inhale, we rise. Go for it. Back to center. Lengthen and lift. Ooh, come back. Hands to heart. Dance her pose. Let's take it up. Right foot. Grab it. Right hand to the inside of your right foot. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, kick your foot into the hand. Go for it. So you can see me. Side. Keep kicking. Find your pressure between your hand and your foot. Keep lifting up through the chest. You can take any variation of Anjali Mudra, whether you're here. Some people like to take their hand to shin and stretch out the right leg. Nice little dancer. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now when you're ready, waterfall it down. So bring that left fingers, those left fingers underneath your left shoulder. And then continue, continue to hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Release the right foot to the back wall. Inhale, right arm up for half moon. Ardha Chandrasana here. Try gazing up at that right arm. Keep pulling the right shoulder back. Keep trying to stack hip upon hip. Right leg is active. Hamstring is on fire. And then when you're ready, right arm comes down. Square those hips. Jump it, step it, float it back, go for it, Van Leeuwen, handstand it. How's that hamstring feel, Brian? That's how my hamstring feels right now, too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's a strain. Add the extra push-up, you guys. Send it back, down dog, feel it, feel it. Woo, here we go. Inhale, left leg up, strong through your body. Exhale, left foot comes down. Drop your forearms to the floor. That's it. Give those hamstrings a break. Now lift left leg up. You can take your scorpion sting here, or you can take it up to your forearm stand. Go for that forearm. Any variation you want here, go for it. Inhale it up. That's it, you guys. Feel it. Drop the knees, stretch out your shoulders. Oh yeah. 
Feeling good. Chin is a little bit more intense than the forehead. And then when you're ready, Sphinx, come to your belly, push the forearms to the floor, activate your legs. So squeeze your quads, draw the navel up and in. And as you pull the stomach in, lift the chest, pull the shoulders back, gently gaze up. Nice little warming sensation on your low back. Then interlace your fingers, curl those toes, lift, obliques, right, center, left, one, right, center, left, two, right, center, left, drop the knees if you need, keep going, please keep going, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, get it, get it, don't stop, why are you guys fixated on a number, keep going, keep going, stay with me, Myers, stay with me, come on, you got it. Woo, woo. Oh, stay with me. What number are we on? Anyone, Elena? Okay, 10. That sounds good. 9, keep going. Breathe. 8, 7, keep going. 6, 5, keep going. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Left palm into the mat, extend. Right palm into the mat, you're in plank. Shift forward, chaturanga to up dog with the inhale. Add the extra chaturanga. Oh my goodness. How do your shoulders feel? Like jello, because mine are done. They're done. Inhale, left leg up. Stay focused, scorpion sting. Woo! Stay if you want to. Go for it. Take your wild thing. Be careful where you are. Open up the bow. Cactus. Exhale to the floor. Let's go for it. Right toes into the mat. Lift the left leg high. Exhale across your body. Fallen triangle. Modified side plank. Lift the chest. Reach it. Exhale to the floor. Right toes into the mat. Draw the knee to chest. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee, left shoulder. I didn't forget. Inhale it up. Left knee, left shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. What did you do on this side? You tap it, flying split. Five, four, three, two. Better get in it. One, inhale it up. Woo! Left foot in between your hands. Take it up to your warrior one, strong through your body. Reach it on it. Pull the right hip forward. Ground through your feet. Pulling heels. Come on, pull it. Activate it. And when you're ready, find peace within. Give yourself a few moments to let it settle. And then as you exhale, arms behind you, interlace, humble warrior. Pull the arms down, lift your heart and gaze. Exhale, lead with your heart. Bend that left knee, go deep. Get that upper body inside that left thigh. Crowning your head will come to the floor. Maybe not. It's not about that, it's about the stretch. And then releasing hands to the ground. Now, you have a choice. Again, you can do your wide leg forward fold, you can do your splits if you want to, your hamanasana, right? Splits, you can take it up to your headstand, you can take your skindasana, straddle, whatever works. I'm giving you a little choice here. Go for it. I'm gonna take my splits. Try to really square my hips here. Take your time. Move around. I'm not there at my center split yet. It's my straddle. I'm working on it. We're working on it. Work in progress, right? Feel it. Go for it. Take your time, slowly come out, slowly come out. So, hello, welcome back, welcome back. When you're ready, let's bring it back to the front. Bend the left knee, walk it around, walk it around. Left toes are forward, right toes in the mat. Right foot steps up to meet the left, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt to your thighs. Nice little forward fold here, you guys. Forward fold it, forward 
fold it. And then when you're ready, inhale it up, you guys. Come on. Bring it high to the sky. Lengthen and lift. Exhale, come back to center, hands to heart. Exhale here. Take it up to your dancer. So we're going to go left side. So here, grab it on the inside. Inhale it up. Exhale, kick your foot into the hand. Lift it. So here, you want to see me from the side. I like lifting my palm up. You notice that some people bring it down. It's good for grounding up. It's uplifting. Keeping my gaze forward for me helps. And I just find that pressure between my hand and my foot. Lengthening and lifting. Exhale. The gaze comes down. I flip my palm. I waterfall it down for half moon. And then I keep that foot pressing into my hand. Opening, opening. And then releasing it. Trying to really pull the shoulder back so it stacks on my right shoulder. Lifting, flexing my left leg. Not flexing my, flexing my left foot, squeezing my legs. Mm -hmm. Trying to pull this hip open as much as I can. It's pretty intense, especially when you're outside and everything's moving around. And it's also intense in general when nothing's moving around. <laughs> now when you're ready, kind of funny laughing at your own jokes when no one's around, you have no music doing yoga and you guys are all staring at me and I can't see you. That's the fun part. The gaze comes down, the left arm comes down. That's when it gets real, you guys. You're going to jump it, you're going to step it, you're going to float it back. Go, handstanders, go. You got it, come on. Inhale it up. Exhale, float it back. It's been a while, you guys. Push it, draw those hips back, lift it, lengthen it. Here we go. Let's not mess around anymore. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, scorpion stay. Option to stay here, take your back bend. Go for it. Any variation you want. Feel comfortable, feel comfortable. Nice little back bend. Inhale it up when you're ready. Exhale to the floor, lift the right leg high. Exhale across your body. Or you can take a little eagle here. So right leg over the left leg. Right? Spin the left ankle down. Inhale. Left arm up. And when you're ready, left arm comes down. Pull the right hip into the socket. All right, here it is. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend the right knee. Spin the left ankle down. Pretend like you're going into your wild thing, but don't touch the right toes. And just lift the right arm up. If the toes touch, that's okay. Right hand behind your right shoulder blade and try gazing up. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down. Left toes into the mat. Reach the right leg high. Chin stand. Here we go. If not, you can drop the left knee and you lower just like that. Lift the right leg up. Take it up to a cobra and up dog. You're going to take the chin stand. Inhale, shift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to chin. Exhale to the floor. Inhale it up. Add the extra chaturanga. Woo! Let's go for it, you guys. This is what it's all about right here, right now. Inhale, right leg high. Right foot in between your hands at the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Send it back. Give yourself a nice little stretch here. Preparation for triangle. Inhale, arms to T. Shoulders down your back, reach, stretch out the right leg. Inhale, lengthen. Keep reaching until you can't reach anymore. And then let the toes, let the toes, lift your fingers, reach to the toes. You can grab the toe, maybe ankle or shin, ground or block. Inside or outside, it's all good. Try to open up, reaching left arm high. You can even bind left arm around your back, right, and reaching for right thigh. Getting a nice little stretch here. It's really how you feel. Squeeze your quads, ground through your feet. Pull the stomach in and find peace within your pose before we die again. Inhale, the gaze is down. Bend the right knee, windmill it back, reverse your warrior. Exhale to the floor, bring it down. Here we go. Let's go for it, you guys. Right arm underneath. Right thigh, turn your left toes into the mat. Now here, 
you have the option. You can stay here. You can lower the knee. You can drop forearms inside the right foot, or you can take it to your flying squid. Go for it. Fire up that left leg. Walk the right foot out. Inhale, shift forward. Lifting left leg up. Exhale, left foot comes down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot back, right where we started. Right where we started. Nothing too crazy. Now when you're ready, bring the right arm inside the right foot. Yes, right arm underneath that right leg, reaching up and around your low back. Spinning left heel down. Left arm reaches up and around, cupping and bind, holding it here. You can try to straighten the right leg. This might be a little bit too much for my little hamstring lovers. It might be a little intense. What I'm doing is I'm bending and extending in it, trying to pull that left shoulder back. And if you want to take it up to some bird of paradise, take it up, you guys. Go for it. Walk this left foot up to meet the right foot. Right toes into the mat. You bend the left knee. Here, I'll turn forward for you. Inhale, you fire it up. Fire up that left leg. Exhale here. Inhale, right leg extend. You guys looking at my shorts? I know you are. It's all good. Venmo me an extra dollar then. All right? Oh, gosh. Hamstrings. Exhale, bend the right knee. Right foot comes down. Walk this left foot back. Take your time. Don't hurt your shoulders. Give yourself a few moments. Bring the hands down. Shimmy the left toes back. Hold it here, drop the forearms down, give yourself a shimmy front to back, front to back. Feeling good, feeling good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. A little psoas. My hip flexor feels good. Drop the left knee. Walk this right foot out. Push that right thigh out. A little hip action. Keep it going, you guys. Keep it going. Bend the left knee. Let's get that quad stretch. If it's too much with your forearm to the floor of the left arm, then extend the left arm and grab the foot. But if you can keep the forearm down, then go for it. Grab it and try opening up the chest. So kicking the foot into the hand, opening up the chest. And sometimes you might want to try it both ways, see which way it feels better to you. Gosh. And then pull that foot into your bottom. Feel the stretch. Give that foot a squeeze. Release it. Hands come down. Walk that foot in. Take your side plank, you guys. So here, if you got bad shoulders or something's not right in your shoulders, kick the left leg out. Bring your right leg back. Nice little side plank. If you can take it up, you can take it up here. Just make sure your shoulder's stacked over your wrist. Spin the left heel down. Inhale, right leg up. Right arm up. Whatever feels good to you. Right palm down, turn the left toes into the mat, three-legged down dog, chin stand if you want to go for it. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale the chin. Exhale to the floor, inhale it up, add the extra chaturanga, push it back down dog. So lovely. That's it. Gaze at your hands, jump or step, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt to your thighs. Woo! Inhale, reverse the swan. Come all the way up. Get a nice little stretch here. Exhale to the floor. Bring it down. Just to create length and space. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump, float it, step it. Whatever works for you. Add the extra chatter. Push it back down, dog. Here we go. It's a beautiful thing, you guys. Rest in peace later. Lift the left leg up. Scorpion, sing it. You guys ready to take your wild thing? Take it then. Your back should be good. Make sure you have the space. It might be a little intense here. Watch out for your cactus if you got one. Inhale it up when you're ready. Oh, oh gosh, that took everything I had. Exhale to the floor, lift with the inhale. Exhale across your body. Now if you want to take the eagle, left leg over the right leg. Spin the right ankle down. It feels good. Eagle legs. Exhale. Right palm to the mat. Pull the hip into the socket. Knee to chest. Inhale, left leg up. So here we go. It's the same thing. Almost like you're going to move into your wild thing. But try not. Lift. Left hand behind your left shoulder. 
try gazing up. It's pretty intense. Inhale it up. Exhale to the floor. Chin stand on this side. Let's go. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to chin. Exhale to the floor. Inhale it up. Add it. Push it back. Woo! Inhale, left leg high. Come on, you guys. Left foot in between hands. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, arms to T. Stretch out left leg. Come on, triangle pose. You got it. Reach, reach, reach. Till you can't reach anymore. Inhale, left arm up. Sorry, right arm. Gazing up if it feels good. Push your feet to the floor. Try not to hyperextend. Squeeze. Squeeze. Binding if you did it on the other side. Should feel okay. And just find it. Find what works. Inhale, the gaze is down. Bend the left knee. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Unravel that hand. Exhale, bring it down. Okay, here we go. So this is what we did on this side. I turned my right toes into the mat, brought my left arm underneath my left hamstring. So here I am. You can stay. Remember, I said you could stay here. Modify, you drop the knee. You want to take your flying split? Take it. Let's go for it. Inhale it up. Exhaling it down. Inhale, left leg high. Option to take chin stand if you want to. You can bring the foot back when you're ready from your chin stand vinyasa. Giving yourself a few moments here. Giving yourself the shimmy, 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 shimmy. Feel good, feel good. Then when you're ready, bird of paradise. Left arm underneath left hamstring, up and around. You can stay, you do not have to take your bird. Right foot steps up to meet the left foot. I'll move this way. Bend the right knee with the inhale, you lift. Exhale here. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Oh my goodness, a little hamstring. That's right, Brian, how about that hamstring? Exhale, bend that left knee, bring it down. So here you are, back at the front. Step the right foot back. Unravel your hands. Here we are. Drop the right knee, walk the left foot out. You can stay. We already did this, so take that hand, push it out. Give yourself a few breaths, a few moments. Desiree, if you're watching, I know you said you wanted to. Little one, if you're watching. You got it. Doing some arm balances for you guys today. This side's a little tight. Open it up. First kick the foot into the hand so you can open up the chest a little bit. Then draw the heel into your bottom. These shorts are pretty neon. I wonder if they're glow in the dark. They might be. Give your foot a little squeeze, release it. And now we're gonna take it up into your side plank. So again, Modify it if you have these shoulder injuries and you're watching your shoulders. Oh gosh, maybe you just feel tight like me. I told my husband today, I'm like, man, I'm really feeling like it. Oh yeah, spin it, lift it, meaning I'm feeling it. Things aren't moving like they should be. That's why we're doing this. Get that yoga, baby. Get that chin stand, baby. Let's go. Three-legged down dog, chin stand. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, down. Inhale it up. Woo! To the floor. Lift the chest. Add the extra chaturanga. Send it back. Downward facing dog. Woo! Inhale, right leg up. Let's go for it. Exhale, scorpion sting. Do you want to stay? Do you want to take your wild thing? Then take it. Take your back bend if you want to. It's all good. Inhale it up. Exhale to the floor. Reach the right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale it up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. 
Inhale it up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, extended side crow. Go for it. Lift it. Inhale it up. Exhaling it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right foot in between your hands at the front. Crescent lunge. Lift it with the inhale. Exhale, sink it. Tuck your tailbone under. Come on, you guys. Reach it. And then when you're ready, on the exhale, the palms will come together. Left tricep to the outside of your right thigh. Push, modify, drop the left knee. Use that right hand and push into the left palm, cinching the waist. Gazing up is an option. Other option is to bind if you want to take it there. So really start to twist. Right arm around your low back. Left arm underneath the right hamstring. Cupping and binding. You got it. Here we go. Gazing down. Revolve bound half moon. So if you want to get a little weird, you're going to gaze probably about a foot in front of the right foot. It's a shift forward. And then inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot comes down. Inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, right arm under left arm. Alive, left arm under right arm. Eagle arms. Modify, give yourself a hug. Let's go. Inhale, standing split, eagle arms. Inhale, push through the right leg, lift left leg up. Exhale, upper body comes down. So here, if it's too much to keep the bind arms, hands can come down whatever works for you. Breathe, and then on your next inhale, you can bend the right knee, bend the left knee up and through, wrap it up and over. So here, your eagle, you can let the toes hang out, you can bring them down, or of course, wrap it around. So today, in your eagle, I'm gonna have you go really deep, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do is sink as far as you can and try to get your sh elbows to your shins. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. And again, you can keep scooting that right foot down, bringing those elbows as far as you can onto that right shin. It's pretty intense. And then when you're ready, slowly unravel. So you're coming up, coming up, coming up, unraveling right where you are. Inhale it up. So you're at the front of your mat. Lift. Create space through your spine as you lift up through the chest. As you exhale to the floor, bring it down. Inhale, lift up, nice flat back. Jump it, step it, float it, go for it, hop it. Inhale it up. Add the extra push-up, chatter on the back. It's all good, you guys. It's time. Don't mess around anymore. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee. Right elbow, bring it across. Inhale it up. Exhale across, come on. Inhale it up. Exhale across, take it. Extended side crow, you already were there. Inhale, lift. Inhale it up, lift. Right leg up. Exhale, scorpion sting. Option to stay, take your wild thing, whatever works for you. Back bend, watch where you are. Inhale it up, exhale to the floor, lift, left leg high. Exhale across your body, go for it, go for it. Reach it. Ground it. Right toes in the mat, knee to chest, inhale left leg high. Left foot in between your hands at the front, crescent lunge. Lift up through the chest, shoulders down your back. Tuck it under, baby. Modify, drop your right knee down. And then on the exhale, palms together, right tricep to the top or the outside of that left thigh. Really start to twist it, twist it. Again, drop the knee if you need to. The more you push, trying to bring hands over heart center, the more you're gonna feel it, rinse it. Inhale, open it. To really bind, you gotta get your rest on the outside of that thigh. Going for it. Right arm underneath. Left arm up and around your low back, cupping and binding your hands. Now, if you can stay, you can stay. You want to get weird with me, let's get weird. You're going to gaze in front, that left big toe, maybe about a foot. And then once you shift forward, inhale, right leg up. And it's
it's okay if you unravel, if you come out, you can still hold the stillness and the balance. Then as you exhale, the right foot comes down, inhale, arms will open. Don't get mad at yourself, it's okay. Palms will come together, inhale, you rise. Push through that left leg. Lift, lift, use your muscles. Right arm underneath left. Here we are, standing split, eagle arms. Inhale, lift, right leg up. Exhale, upper body comes down, right leg will lift. Woo! Inhale, bend the right knee up and through. Wrap it up and over. This is where I'm going to give you that challenging eagle today. Really start to sink. Sink, sink, sink. Really start to bend the knee. Bring those arms over that knee and try to get your forearms down. Not your forearms, your elbow down onto that left shin. I mean, this is intense anyways, going this far. So, I give you guys mad props for letting me torture you today. Kudos to you guys. Well, cheers afterwards. Unravel. Oh my goodness. Slowly come up. Unravel. Inhale. The arms will rise. Lift. Reach, reach, reach. Create space. Exhale to the floor. Bring it down. Bring it down. Let's go. Let's finish strong. Lift up. Jump step. Walk it. Float it back. Go for it. Explode it. Lift it. Chaturanga. Send it back. Down dog. Jump through to seated. Let's get some abs going. Lay on your back. Don't dilly-dally. Come on, Deb. Get down. Here we are. Hands behind your head. Push your back flat. These are going to be my favorite. Stretch out the right leg. Hover it. Here we go. Keep the knee over the hip. Push your back flat. Chest at the uh, knee. Lift it up. 20. 19. Modify. Drop the heel. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. Okay. 11. 10. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exchange your legs. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Don't cheat. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs to the sky. Here we go. Lift your hips. 20. 19, 18, flex your feet, push your heels up. Trying to keep your legs as straight as possible. It's okay if you bend your knees. Okay, think about lifting your pelvis to your face. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. I know, I just started over. So what happens, you guys, when I stop? 15, 14, 13, 12, come on, 11, 10, push it, 9, 8, 7, you got it, Elena. Daddy, 6, go, Desiree, 5. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, push, pull. Right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Very important that you keep your back flat. Back is flat. Now, if your back starts to arch around you, lift your legs a little higher. But if you can bring them out, bring those bad boys out. Push and pull it. If it's too much with the upper body, you just push and pull it. That's it. If you don't want abs, guess what? You don't do it. It's pretty simple. Don't do it. If you don't want abs, you don't do it. Five. Come on, push it. Home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Knees over the hips. Straighten the right leg. Lift it up. 20, 19, 18. Now you're feeling it. Now you want to cry. You're like, oh, that wasn't that bad the first round. I'm not going to get my abs. <laughs> well, keep going. Keep going. 10, 9, 8. Modify if you need to. Halfway and then lift it back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Exchange the legs. Oh my gosh, keep going. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Oh my gosh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're only on second round. Three, two, one. Lift up. Come on. 20. You know what? We're going to do something else. Hands underneath your hips. Right here, lift it up, hover it down. Lift it up, hover it down. 18, that's it. 17, woo! 16, 15, oh my goodness. 14, 13. If you do not want to lower the legs, finish it up at top. 
finish it up the top. If it hurts your low back, finish pushing through the heels and just keep it up top. 20, 19, 18, 17, that's right. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, feel it. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, oh my gosh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, push, pull, 20, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't stop, you guys, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, last round, don't stop, knees to chest, knees over hips, straighten the right leg, 20, 19, come on, 18, 17, 16, drop it if you need to, 12, 11, 10, push it, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, small movements, I'm doing it, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touch your toes, lift them up, come on, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hands to the floor, lift it up, lift, 20, 19, 18, come on you guys, 17, no one wants to do abs, but everyone wants abs. So you have to do them in order to get them, unless you're genetically gifted and you already have abs. So then you don't have to do them. But if you want them and you're not genetically gifted, then you gotta work for them. It's with anything else, you guys. Nothing's for free. Push, push. Five, four, three, two, one. Push, pull, last round. Come on. How bad do you want it? It's up to you. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knees to chest. Wow. Rock it up. Rock and roll. Get yourself. We're not done yet. Don't stop on me. Don't stop. Jump it. Step it. Float it. Walk it back. Push it up. Hold that up, dog. Wow. Add the extra chaturanga. Push it back. Down dog, you guys deserve this today. It's all good. When you're ready, jump through the seated. Take a nice little double pigeon, all right? Jump through the seated. If you wanna take a regular pigeon, take your regular pigeon. We're almost finished. So right ankle over the left knee, right knee down to right ankle. If this is too much, do your regular pigeon, okay? Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, take your forward fold. Try to get your forearms to the floor. We're only gonna stay here for a few breaths, okay? A few breaths. Almost done, home stretch. Little pigeon, breathe. Make sure that you guys wanna get your hip stretch on. And then when you're ready, push your upper body back up. Inhale, you lengthen, bring the right arm behind you. Left arm, take that. Either you can take your forearm here, or you can try to get your elbow, which is, oh my gosh, or tricep. And you take that nice little twist through your spine. It might be a little intense. You might just want to take a little easy stretch on that. And then inhale back to center. <laughs> Exhale, take another little twist. Again, you can go on your foot or the outside of that leg and push it. Feels really good. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release your legs. So just switch your legs. You can shake it out. So right ankle first, left ankle second. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, you fold. Finish it up. Don't get too comfortable yet, you guys. I know that margarita's waiting for you, okay? Or your glass of wine, Van Leeuwen, whatever you guys prefer to drink at this moment. Maybe a glass of water. You can just breathe here. Oh man. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you can go further in it, go further. Push your upper body up. Inhale, lengthen. Left arm behind you. Exhale, take your nice little twist. You might feel a little bit better through the spine now, just realigning. Maybe you can go deeper in it. Center. Ooh, I'm a little 
tight. Exhale, take your twist. This side feels a little better. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, unravel. So you unravel your legs, unravel your legs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then when you're ready, fingers four to six inches behind you, facing towards your hiney. If it's too much for your shoulders, fingers facing out. Inhale, reverse plank or reverse tabletop. Inhale, lift the hips, toes come down, relax your neck, gaze at the tip of your nose to the sky. Yes, if it's too much, bend the knees, ankles underneath knees, lift hips. And just breathe into it. It still feels really good, no matter which one you're on. Oh. Inhale, gaze is forward. Exhale, flex your feet, tricep dips. Five, four, three, two, one. Five more, five. Four, three, two, one, five more, five, four, three, two, one, five more, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, hips come down, untuck those goods. Lengthen and lift, create space, forward fold. Yes, squeeze your quads, feel it. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take your vinyasa, cross the legs, inhale, rock it up. Exhale, jump, step, float it back, lift up through the chest, add the extra push up, jump through to seated, go for it, back bend or bridge pose, what do you want to do? Maybe start with some bridge, roll the shoulders underneath you, interlace, if you want to, if you want to take it up to your beautiful back bend, take it up for me, my peeps, fingers facing towards your shoulders, inhale, you lift, go for it. Oh my goodness, we're stiff. I might be just stiff. It might just be me. And then when you're ready, exhaling it down. Draw the knees to chest if you've had enough. Take it up to your shoulder stand and plow. You guys were there for Shavasana, we're there. Inhale, you lift it. If you're taking it to your back bend, take it. Shoulder stand. Plow pose, go for your plow. Stomach should look really good here. Keep your chin tucked into your chest. Hands to back if your toes are not touching. Do not look from side to side. And then when you're ready, slowly roll out one vertebra at a time. Give yourself a nice little happy baby. Ooh, maybe stretch out those legs. A little rock, a little rock, goodbye baby. Bend the knees, give yourself a nice big hug. You can do both knees or stretch out the right leg, bringing your left leg over your body, nice little twist. Finishing it up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, you come back to center. Right leg comes in, realign your spine. Extendo through the left leg, right leg over the left, gaze over the right. Breathing, you guys. Almost there. Inhale, right leg comes back. Left knee in. Last final hug before your Shavasana. And just give yourself a few breaths. You don't have to stay in your Shavasana. Give yourself a few moments. A few moments. And as you close your eyes, just say something that you're positive about what keeps you smiling day to day, what keeps you happy from day to day. I know there's always one thing that makes you smile in this world. 